All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and I just want to start this one off by saying an absolutely massive thank you to each and every one of you for 15,000 subscribers. It's unreal. I expected 15 to 20,000 by the end of the year, and we're only halfway through the year, and we're already hitting 15K. So I just want to say thank you to you guys, and I think 20,000 is going to be a hugely realistic goal by the end of the year now, and that's because of all the support that's come from you. So massive shout out to every one of you, and we're going to get into a q and A. I I got a bunch of you guys to leave some questions for me that you wanted to ask whether it's Star Wars related or just general like YouTube stuff or life stuff. So I've got a bunch of questions. I'm going to get into the channel members questions first because obviously those guys do get priority. So if you guys want to get a question answered first next time, make sure you check out the membership program in the link below in the description. But anyways, getting into it, we are going to start off with the first channel member questions. First off, it comes from my good friend, Sammy boy, my brother. He says, congrats. Happy to say I've been watching since where it all began. That leads into my question. What made you decide to start up your channel? and how have you found your first year or two on YouTube in terms of both the good and the bad? And it's funny that you asked this, Sammy. This we actually answered in our podcast recently, which if you guys haven't seen, go check it out on Sammy's channel. Um, I basically started because I saw the Aussie Jedi and like Battlefront updates and guys like that doing it. They were having a lot of success. Um, Aussie blew up like within his first like six months. And, you know, being another Australian guy, I thought, you know, why can't I do this? I should be able to do it as well. So I gave it a crack and it ended up working out really well. So that's basically why I got started. And in terms of how I've found it for the first year or two on YouTube, uh, it's a grind. A lot of people don't realize how hard it can be sometimes, you know, it, balancing work, social life, um, you know, doing YouTube stuff, live streaming, making videos, editing, all that. It's a lot to take in um, and it definitely takes a lot of commitment. And it's something I have committed to, but I do find it difficult at times, but I'm loving it nonetheless. So hopefully that gives you guys a good insight as to why I started my channel and what I've been doing with the first year or two. The second question comes from one of my earliest subscribers and a good friend of mine, Lethal Lightning. He has a fantastic question, which is which of my Hawaiian shirts is your favorite? Now, Lethal, this is a silly question because it's too hard to answer. You know, I love every single one of your Hawaiian shirts. So for me to pick just one, I would have to see them all lined up in a row and possibly even with you wearing each one. So maybe we can tee that up. We'll figure it out at some point soon, but they're all pretty cool. The next question comes from my good friend, Blissy, another channel member. He says, would you rather be able to speak every language fluently or communicate with any animal? That's a difficult question, man. Now, Henry, you know, I'm a massive uh, animal lover. You know, I love dogs, cats, all animals basically. So pretty much being able to communicate with them would be awesome. But speaking every single language fluently is very tempting. Uh, that's a hard question, but I think I'm going to go with talking to animals just because I'd love to know what my dog is thinking nine times out of 10 because she does some weird shit. So that would be, uh, that would be cool to be able to communicate that with her. And the last channel member question comes from Paul or Scarf. He says, what's your honest opinion with the prestige leveling for every character? Why couldn't they move prestige 1000 level to your career rank? Now, this is a really good question. I've thought about this a little bit and I kind of think that they moved the prestige system to like your heroes and your infantry because when you get killed that's what shows up on the screen from the other player you know you'll see Kylo Ren level 85 and you know okay he's been leveling Kylo a little bit or you could see um you know Phasma level 150 whether or not why people would get Phasma to level 150, I don't know. But that might be what they're going for there because you can see someone that's grinded and put a lot of effort into that hero, whereas your career rank doesn't really get shown to other players. It's more like a personal thing. So I think that's the decision that they made there. I think it's a pretty good one. I like to see it on the heroes, preferably, and the infantry as well. Anyways, we're going to keep pumping through with the rest of your questions. Dingus Bringus says, kind of weird question, but something I've always wondered is how are you able to sell merch with Darth Maul? Isn't he owned by Disney? This one, I'm not 100% sure. I'm I'm pretty confident that if it's your own design that you're okay um, and I think when we're kind of smaller they don't really pay too much attention to it anyway who knows there's probably some kind of rule out there where you can do it if it's your own design but I'm not 100% sure it's worked for me so far and I know Battlefront updates and guys do it as well so it doesn't seem to be an issue once you get a bit bigger too. Uh, Ashley asks were you a day one fan of this game or did you pick it up months after the hate cooled down? I was day one pre-order baby all day you guys know I've been playing this game since launch I've been making videos on it since before launch. My first video that blew up was a Kylo Ren ability speculation. I had like a hundred subs and it got like 3000 views on it. So I was super hyped. That's kind of what projected me into continuing to make videos. So there you go. Day one or pre day one, if you want to take it that way. Uh, next question is from Top Dog. He says, who's your favorite Jedi? Uh, favorite Jedi would probably be... Ooh. 
I think Obi-Wan, to be honest. Um, I would say Ahsoka, but you know, she's got that whole I'm no Jedi type thing. But yeah, if I had to pick like a proper Jedi, I think it would be Obi-Wan. He demonstrates all of the examples of how to be a Jedi. Same with Yoda, but I just like uh, Obi-Wan's character a little bit better. Uh, Noodle Tootie says, what hero would you be most excited for to come into Battlefront 2? Definitely Ahsoka. You guys know she's one of my favorite characters. I just mentioned her a second ago. So she would be number one hero for me. Uh, Mr. Rexa says, favorite video game? Uh, right now, probably Apex Legends. Uh, that's really the only other game that I'm playing aside from Battlefront 2 and I'm absolutely loving it so that's probably my favorite game aside from Battlefront 2 I'm sure that's what you meant anyways so um Hunter the Great says what do you think of when I say hero reworks besides the obvious Anakin choice I mean honestly I think most of the heroes work pretty well Anakin is broken I think he still needs some ability changes or a bit of a rework to get him kind of balanced and working well but the other heroes work really well together so I think they're fine you don't need to change anything there Alexander Villani says do you make a good living off YouTube? Uh, not really. It's kind of one of those things that's a backup project. Um, I still work full time. I work for Adidas currently as a manager at one of the stores. So that's kind of my mainstream income. And then YouTube's just a little bit of extra cash on the side, which is always good. Daniel Cranston says, who introduced you to Battlefront 2? Or did you find out about it yourself? Um, I was a big fan of the first game, put a lot of hours into Battlefront 2015. You know, I was a fan of the originals when I was younger playing, you know, Battlefront 2 and Battlefront on PlayStation 2. So when I saw that this was coming out, I was super excited and yeah, pretty much picked it up day one, had it on pre-order and that's how I got into it. Gui says, if you lived in the Star Wars universe, what would you be? Jedi, Sith, Bounty Hunter, etc. Uh, probably a Sith. You guys know I'm a big dark side guy and that's the way I would go for that one. Wolfwheel77 says, not really Star Wars, but what animal would you like to become if you had the ability to shapeshift? Congrats for the achievement. Been here since practically 1k. Yeah, Wolfwheel, you've been here a long time, man, and I appreciate that support. You've been around since real early days. Uh, but if I could pick one animal, it would probably be maybe a wolf, to be honest. That's funny because you're the one asking this question, but I don't know. I've always had this thing with wolves and like lions. I think they're really cool animals and, you know, they're kind of top of the food chain. So that would probably be the way I would go. I think a wolf looks cooler, so I'd probably go with that. MBDC says, how much Star Wars lore do you know? I'm not a huge lore guy. That's probably more of Lethal Lightning's uh, way to go with that, but he's got a lot of knowledge. I'm slowly learning bits and pieces off him and, you know, I'm reading some more books and listening to audiobooks. So I'm getting there, you know, I've read some of the Old Republic stuff and I'm getting into more and more content in terms of lore as of now. So hopefully in the future, when you ask this question again, I can say that I know a bit more. Ligma Boy says, if you could be any Star Wars character, who would it be and why? Any Star Wars character, let's see. Probably I, yeah, I just can't go past Darth Maul, man. The double-ended lightsaber, you know, the Sith powers. He's really cool character. I know he gets cut in half, but, you know, his persistence and will to go on and survive and, and come back from something like that is really cool. So that's probably who I would be if I was a Star Wars character. The Natundi says, what would you say was your best ever game on Battlefront 2? Who were you playing as and how many kills did you get? Okay, so probably the top game I've had was with Yoda on Kashyyyk and I had a 72 kill streak. So that was... Yeah, yeah, that was probably the highest that I think I've gotten without, you know, the excuse of Palpatine being broken and being able to shoot lightning through walls. I think I got like 106 with him once, but I don't really count that. I think the Yoda one was definitely my best. Phenomenal One says, what's the best Star Wars related thing that you sell at your work? Well, as of just recently, I'm not actually working for Zing anymore. Used to be really cool. We got the lightsabers and the helmets in. You guys have seen some videos on that. So I would say that was the go. Um, Adidas gets a little bit of Star Wars gear every now and then, but nothing like Zing used to get. So next up, Matthew Mazar says what is your favorite Star Wars film Empire Strikes Back hands down followed by Revenge of the Sith Blaze131313 Mitchell says, roughly how long do you think until Ahsoka and Ventress are in the game? I'm really hoping that they make an announcement on them at EA Play. Not sure if they will, but if they do, I will be very excited and I would hopefully want to see them in the next couple of months at least. Uh, Wayne Murray says, what got you into Star Wars? My dad uh, was a huge Star Wars fan when I was a kid. So we always used to watch the movies together and that's pretty much how I got started. Fell in love with it and now kind of decided to do something with it. Instead of just being a hardcore fan, get into YouTube and sort of Pass on my love for it and my passion for it, which is really cool. The Bear Strike says, who is your favorite Marvel and DC character and why? DC character is easy, that's Batman. Favorite Marvel character is probably Black Panther, to be honest. I love Black Panther. It's one of my favorite Marvel movies. He's such a cool and collected character and he's really fun to watch when he's on screen. Even though like in Endgame, he was only in it briefly, I still loved all the scenes that he was in. So that was for him. And then Batman, I'm a huge Batman fan, always have been. I've got statues and figures and all kinds of things with Batman. So he's my favorite. 
favorite, love all the movies, and that is my favorite DC character. Uh, Riker says, were you unhappy with the way Battlefront 2 came out with the loot boxes and microtransactions, etc.? Um, kind of. I mean, at the launch, they didn't really have the loot boxes. Like, that was pulled out prior to launch. It was in the beta, but it wasn't actually a launch day thing. The microtransactions and being able to buy crates and stuff like that was, yeah, it's kind of silly and it's kind of should be left to, I feel, mobile games to have microtransactions. Things like PS4 and Xbox and PC games should kind of be left out of it. I know it worked for Overwatch, but it's a whole different game when it was just pretty much cosmetic skins and things like that. So I think anything that's going to be pay to win should just be left out of AAA titles altogether. And I'm glad Battlefront 2 was able to make a really good comeback from that. Uh, Dominic says, yo, Twisted, do you collect any Star Wars things? If so, what? Love the vids. Keep it up. Okay, so basically everything and anything Star Wars I will collect um, if I think it's cool enough. I've got some figures and statues. I've got some pop vinyls, posters all over my walls. You name it. I've pretty much got it. I've got lightsabers, helmets, all kinds of stuff. So maybe I'll do a collection video at some stage so that you guys can see that as well. Mm. Kind of everything that I have in my room or in my house. So that'd be a cool video idea, I think, in the future. Uh, I'm the Boss says, what is currently your favorite game mode in Battlefront 2? Favorite game mode right now is probably Heroes vs. Villains. I think the new rework has just sort of made me like it that much more. Galactic Assault is great and it's probably a very, very close second. But the only reason is, you know, the Stinger Pistols, the Speeder Bikes, the ATSTs one-shotting heroes, just the issues there that need a little bit of balancing. Once they're fixed, I think GA will be my main game mode again. But for right now, it's Heroes vs. Villains. Uh, Carpenter Dude says, my question is kind of odd, I'd say, as it does not concern you as a person, but rather your opinion related to Battlefront 2 mechanics. What would you think if each player in HVV started out every match in a different place on the map? I mean, yeah, that could work. It would be interesting to see the dynamic. You know, you're not really squatted up, so you'd end up in a few more one-on-ones early on. But I think it would just end up the same. It's kind of no point really changing it. It works as it is now. I think it could be cool, but I don't think it'll happen. Next up is a question from Anakin Bufton. He says, which Battlefront game is better? Battlefront 1, the OG one, or EA's Battlefront 2015? Um, it depends on what you like. If you like the nostalgia of Battlefront 1, then that would probably be your preference. EA's 2015 Battlefront, I sunk a lot of hours into. Like, I'm talking every single day I was playing that game. So for me, it's probably the original for nostalgia, but in terms of gameplay mechanics and things like that, it would be the 2015 one, just because you can't compete with upgraded game systems. So it's a little bit either or, depending on what mood I'm in. Uh, Darth Windu says, will you be switching to Fallen Order and other Star Wars games when Battlefront 2 is not supported? Uh, yeah, I think that's the thing with YouTube. You've got to always be evolving and staying with what's current. Fallen Order, I'll definitely be playing when it comes out and making videos on that, but I hope that Battlefront 2 will still be supported at that time. Uh, Astra says, which heroes do you want in the game that you haven't made concepts on? Okay, so this is a bit tricky because I've made a lot of concepts already and there actually will be another one coming out very soon in the next couple of days. But if I had to really pinpoint maybe one and, and to do one that I haven't done a concept on makes it even harder because most of the favorite ones that I would like to see have already done concepts for. But I would probably say Jin and Krennic, to be honest. I think Rogue One content could really hit off well in the game and I know a lot of the community is begging out for it. So probably, yeah, Jin and Krennic if I had to choose two that I haven't done concepts on yet. Next up, Lash says, do you think Ahsoka and Ventress will be announced at EA Play? I touched on this briefly earlier. I really hope they are. Um, if they do, it'll be great for the game. So fingers crossed in a couple of days, we will get that announcement. Bailey the Artist says, if you had the choice, would you go into a Star Wars universe or would you bring a character out of it into ours to be friends with? No, I would absolutely go into the Star Wars universe. I would love to see that and live that and kind of experience it as they do on screen. So that would be really cool. Blue Raccoon says, who's your favorite character besides Darth Maul? Uh, probably Ahsoka. Really like her character. I think she was developed really well in the Clone Wars. Uh, started out as kind of annoying, but then became one of my favorite characters later on. So yeah, Ahsoka is probably my favorite character besides Darth Maul. Aiden says, what do you hope for for the next content spree for Battlefront 2? I would love to see some Rogue One content, like I said, Jin and Krennic, but also I would love to see a little bit more Clone Wars, which would be like Ahsoka, Ventress, maybe uh, Coruscant as a map, kind of stuff like that. Larpa Trooper says, what is your favorite skin for any infantry? Um, It's hard to say. I really like the Twi'lek for the specialist class. That's probably the one I rock the most. That and then the Duros for the officer are probably the two favorite of mine. So guys, that's going to wrap it up. That's all the questions that we had. If I did miss any, I apologize. I've tried to cover most of them, but if I did miss one or two, I will be sure to do it in the next Q&A. If you guys have any further questions or anything you want me to clarify on any of the answers I gave, make sure you drop it down in the comments below and I will try and 
can answer those for you as well. Anyways, that's going to do it. Thank you so much again for 15,000 subscribers. I will see you later on in a live stream or another video. Make sure you smash a big thumbs up. I'm going to get out of here. May the force be with you always. Mischief.